What is up, guys? I'm on the St. Lawrence, Montreal, and I'm with Fred. There he is. He's helping me set up. I'm in a tournament today for the Canadian Carp Society, and uh, I've been challenged by Wayne Smith. It's a one on one. He fished yesterday at 11 fish. I don't know his total weight for his four top fish, but uh, we just arrived on the spot. It starts at 7 a.m. for me, and it's like 7.04, so I need to get the rods in, get some bait in, and uh, hopefully this mighty St. Lawrence produces us some monster, monster carp. Just need four big ones, so let's get to it, see what happens. Bird on the rod. They say it's good luck. And he jumped on every rod, so double header. He's going. Happy stop. No snag? Full power, man. 30 pound catfish. It's going straight down. <laughs> it's a giant. I, th I think it is a giant. <laughs> Time to lose it. Uh, it's not even big. Twenty, maybe. Oh, yeah. it's a nice one. There's a lot of current there, and we fi we fished a lake mostly. Good one. Yeah, first one of the day. It's a good one. Big, it's bigger than 15, that's all I need. I just need my smallest fish to be bigger than 15. I'm good to go, man. On the pop-up, the munch pop-up. Super nice one for the first fish of the tournament. So I know that the smallest fish I have to have is 15. I thought this was maybe a very big fish, but it looks to be, honestly, I think around 18 pounds. So we're gonna slip the scale out and uh, get a quick weight on her and see what she weighs. Now we're gonna slip her in. Ooh, that's 20. Uh, 17, 18. 20. Or nine or nineteen point five. Oh, Ooh. sixteen, sixteen, sixteen. So let's get her back down to the water, get the line back in, and uh, hopefully catch a few more bigger than that one. Nice seventeen pounder, sixteen pounder. Such clear water. Yeah, I love the Saint Lawrence for that. Man, bye. Bye. Tell your mom to come. Right on. First one. Need three more. We got it. <laughs> Let's go eat the lamprey.
Just had our first fish right at 10 o'clock pretty much. A uh, beautiful 16 pounder. Um, I know Wayne's weight now. It's 77 and a half pounds and his smallest fish was 15 pounds. Biggest fish 23. So I know what I got to deal with. Day's just begun. We got till 7 p.m. It was 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. And uh, yeah, one fish on the mat. Hopefully lots more to come. I said it was going to start at 10 and boom, there they were right at like 10.03. So should be the start to good things. We're seeing a lot of fish jump in the swim. And uh, that fish came on the citrus blend pop-up after we caught that uh, small little red horse on the pop-up. So yellow pop-up might be the thing to go with. Uh, might switch over the second rod eventually, but uh, we'll see what the rest of the morning brings. Not the size we wanted. Second on the pop-up? Yeah. Are both rods on the same pop-up right now? No, one's still on bottom baits. I'm gonna put them both on pop-up yeah. now. I was just saying to Fred, even if this is like a 14 pounder, if I get a 30 or a high 20, this will make a difference. So we're gonna get a quick weight. Zero. Turning in that. <laughs> Not even. 12. Yeah. 12 pounder. Damn. That's not what we needed. Nope. Let's uh, get another pop up on, bring this fish back down, and hopefully get another fish much bigger than that one. Bye. Water's getting a lot dirtier. Yeah. It might be good. Yeah. See what happens. Oh, oh, it broke me off. I could feel the rock too. I was going to say it, it seemed like a much heavier fish. Uh, I'm an idiot though. Was, I could feel it grinding on the rock and I just kept pulling where I should have let him try to go out of it. I was supposed to do an update at noon. I'm late again. And uh, we just had another fish. Uh, small, small fish, 12 pounder. But directly after we let that fish go, the second rod went, it was a big fish. Took me right into a rock, broke the line. I'm a little bit gutted as they'd say, but uh, we tied up now with some 40 pound mono, uh, 12 feet of it to stop trying to get that line to break. Um, this is actually the spot that I started using big, big mono um, as a, like a leader material because so many, so many snags. But we got the rods back in now, hoping a fish that have that quality will come back. But we got two, got two, 12 pounder, 16 pounder. Not the fish I'm looking for, but uh, 225 pounders and we got this thing. So hoping for those big ones to show up. Keeping fishing hard. It's only 1230, like I said, and we got till seven. So a lot of prime time left to come. Hoping, hoping, hoping that these fish are going to keep going like they're turning on right now and uh, get some jumbos. Jumbos on the mat. Hey man! Hey bud! Seems like it's on! Really turn it on! Feels like a little fish, just a lot of energy. Right that same snag. Same snag. Feels heavy, but like, yeah. I said that on the last one. From here, it seems heavier than 12 pounds.
biggest one of the day, I think. We're going to get a weight. I'm guessing probably 18 to 20, a little bit heavier than that 16 earlier. So uh, we're going to check the mat or the sling here. Make sure with the water and drying out and everything that it's still zeroed. Little adjustment to make. There we go. We got, man, it's, it's the exact same thing, 16. 16. Wow, same, same as that other one. So two 16s two and a 12 and we lost a big one. Still, we just need to get rid of that 16 and maybe a really nice 20. We're right back in it. Just got to beat like low 70s. So hoping that rod takes off and get another chance at another big, big fish. Let's go release this one. Get that rod back in. Hopefully get some more. my toes so hard, bend my nail back. Oh, did it worth it? Yeah. What a run. Man. Still welcomed, just not really what we need right now. 11, 11. Yeah, 11. Wow, so small. We really need a big one. <laughs> oh yes. Just had our fourth fish, but they are small very very small this is my last update before the end so i got four hours left it's three o'clock right now we've had five runs four fish lost a big one and uh, 11 pounder 12 pounder 16 16 right so uh yeah it's uh, not going very good we're seeing good fish jump but they're not the ones that are biting so i'm hoping Got a little bit of a storm front blowing in. Big waves, big wind. Maybe the fish will turn on these final hours before the end. We'll see. Stay with us. I'm gonna win it in the final hour. I'm telling you, watch out, Wayne. Lost it? My line went fully slack. I was sure I was broke. Feels good, you really. Oh, Got a 12 pounder at least. Yeah. bit better of a fish probably close to 20 this one we'll get a quick weight on her there we go zeroed oh yeah not another 16 pounder 16 pounder i think your skill is broken dude three 16s come on wow super nice fish 
she was short. We still got three hours to upgrade, so uh, we'll go ahead and let this one go, and hopefully the next one won't be 16 pounds. <laughs> Carp? Much different bite. Just going up. Big Chevalier. I swear she looks 16. <laughs> so we just had our sixth fish. Probably another 16. No, oh, a little less. Third, 14. Yeah, 14. 14. Plus. So a little bit of an upgrade from the 11, uh, from the 12, but still not what we wanted. Just male fest right now. So hopefully, still got uh, two and a half hours left. Get this one back. We found a new spot. We've got two fish off of a deeper spot right now. So maybe if it keeps producing like that, put both rods out there and hopefully get into something a little bit bigger. Let's get her back. See you later. All right, let's get that rod back in. pan out today it was a great day we ended up having eight fish um, but nothing nothing big nothing that helped me in the tournament I only had to beat 77 and a half pounds and uh, couldn't get it done I had my four biggest were 14 pounds which was my last fish and then I had three 16 pounders like the fact that I couldn't get a 20 pound fish especially in the swim that I was in Pretty mind blowing. But I think what was happening was um, with the spawn being so close, some fish are still spawning. A lot of fish are finishing up, but those big females I think are staying shallow in the bays. And where I was was kind of on the outside of a bay on a main lake point. And uh, I think that in that deeper water, I was just getting all the males that were going back out into the current. So a little bit of a problem, but great day. Great day with Fred. A lot of sun, a lot of sun the last two days. But uh, next weekend, musky season. So I'm super pumped about that. And uh, big shout out to Wayne. Good job, Wayne. Uh, hope you hold it down in the second round and uh, looking forward to seeing what everybody's doing. So uh, thanks everybody for checking out this week's video. Carp fishing is gonna slack off a little bit now. Definitely gonna be on the musky train. Uh, three days of musky fishing next weekend. So yeah, by the time you guys are watching this, I'll be on the water musky fishing. So hopefully bringing you guys some giants. Thanks for checking it out. Don't forget, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And uh, see you guys next week. Bye.